tired out here in these dating streets. Let's hear what she has to say and I'll be right back. Accepting that you are most likely going to be alone for the rest of your life is a really hard pill to swallow. It's not even because there's anything wrong with me or that I am not deserving. I'm just tired. I've spent most of my life recovering from men who have caused so much trauma. My, my, my brain has never fully recovered from the trauma that has been caused. I meet guys and I feel like I'm constantly looking for a reason to not trust them because I have never experienced a good man before. Like I've never been in a good, healthy relationship. I don't even know what that looks like. I don't even know what to look for. I don't know what is normal. I've never experienced normal. How am I supposed to know? And now I'm 37 and every man that I meet is disappointing. What does a loving man feel like? What does a healthy relationship feel like? What does it feel like when you have found your person? I, I've been in so many relationships, long relationships, and no one has ever, ever added value to my life or made me feel like I was enough. And it makes me sad that I have never gotten to experience this. It genuinely makes me sad, but I just don't know if it actually exists. So I will probably be alone. And that, that scares me, but I am slowly accepting that this is probably my fate and I need to learn to love myself and I need to tell myself that that is enough. This is really sad. Until you sit there and break down everything she said. Now let's break this down. She's 37 years old and she's never had a healthy relationship. Th that right there tells you everything you need to know. She's a nice looking woman. So there are plenty of men out there who would literally kiss the ground she walk on, shower her with gifts, love, all of that stuff that she's talking about she wanted in this video, all of that. So what this is telling me is she continually picks the Chads and the Tyrones. That's what she does. Cause she literally said she is traumatized by these men. That means all the men that she picked play games, dogged her out, cheated on her, had other women. That's what's happening. Because you cannot tell me there are no good men out there who would have took this woman and treated her right and show her what a relationship looks like. There's no way you're gonna make me believe that. You cannot listen to a woman who is in victim mode tell you what's going on in her life because she's going to tell you about it from her point of view, which is a victim point of view. So in her head, none of this is her fault. Like she said in the beginning, it's not like this is my fault. It's not like I'm not deserving. It is your fault and you're probably not deserving because you are doing the same thing over and over again and you're expecting different results. Women like this crack me up. They're always talking about, I need to learn how to love myself and learn how to live alone. Why don't number one, you learn how to pick better men? Let's start with that. So you can miss me with all this sadness and the sad music in the background. I don't care about none of that. If you have dated over 20 years worth of men and you haven't found one man to treat you right, or one man to show you what a good relationship is, it is you. 